book. You can see me. Stop right there. Let me go look it up. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen along with the Nana here today. It's sort of a rainy day out, yes. very sort of depressing, but it we is. need the rain, so whatever. What are you going to do? I guess we're just sunshine people. We are sunshine people, absolutely. Yeah. Um, listen, what I want to do today is this video is going to come out. I've got a plan to come out just before Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. So everybody has traditions on Mother's Day and Father's Day. And Easter, Christmas, all of it. Did you do traditional things? We didn't do that. Many. You didn't do. I don't know. Did why. you guys do? Did your mom do like? Um, we always had spaghetti on Wednesday night. No, we never did. You did. Like that. My, you could just count on spaghetti on Wednesday night, yeah. and because I grew up in East Side of Detroit, very heavy Catholic, they had fish on Friday back when I was yeah. a kid. Even at their school, they would serve lunch fish I on Friday. That. And so we would always have fish sticks or something on Friday, too. We weren't Catholic, but uh, we yeah. w went along, I guess. We, I know we had spaghetti once a week. Oh, did you? Yeah. But, but not I, on Wednesday. I don't think it was We always Wednesday. had it on Wednesday. I have to ask my mother why is that. <laughs> we definitely didn't do fish on Friday. No. Because I, I lived somewhere where nobody even thought about that. Yeah, doing exactly. fish on Friday. Well, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I want to give everybody the men that might be watching, although most of the demographic is not men, I wanted to offer something that would be something they could do easy for Mother's Day. Instead of going out, you can't get into a no, restaurant uh, on Mother's Day. The lines are crazy. Why not do something where you cook it, guys? Perfect, it comes off great, comes off easy, it's the best thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Or a kid. Or a kid could do this. Because Absolutely. It's Mother's Day. Absolutely. So you Absolutely. know what my dad used to always say. It's not my, my mother. Mo I know. My mom would say, Why don't you give me a card? He'd go, Well, you're not you're my not mother. You're not my mother. I know. There I you can go. just hear him. Yeah, he did that. Exactly. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Anyhow, you want to get going on this? Sure. All right. So let me show you, and Sue, maybe you can tilt the camera down. I'm going to just show everybody what I have here. I do have mushrooms, first off. I've got some shiitake and some other. Uh, I, they didn't have just plain shiitake at the Publix, so I got a box of a sort of. And then I got some baby bellas, and those are good. And by the way, I've cleaned the rest off. You get them like this, and they've got dirt on them and everything. Never wash them. Just brush them with a uh, dry paper, piece of paper towel or a very lightly damp piece of paper towel. And then all I want to do is I just want to take these things, and I really just want to make big slices of them because we're gonna saute these things down. And the thing that I'm going to make is a pork loin a cutlets today that I, I had a big old pork loin in the fridge. And um, I'm going to do these cutlets and it's called pork loin Lombardi style. It uses these wonderful mushroom array. It uses some white wine. Uh, we're going to flour up our cutlets here in a second. But first we're gonna saute these mushrooms up. So what I wanna do they're all nice and clean and everything. I'm going to put in some uh, oil, some olive oil, and get it pretty, pretty in there, like that. And as that's heating up, I want to take a couple of garlic. I'm going to uh, mash them, and I'm going to actually put them in there, mash just like this, lightly mash. Once that heats up, because I want that oil to get that garlic flavor before I saute anything else. I've got my oven at 400 degrees uh, and I'm going to take this and we're going to put it in the oven for a little bit as well. But I wanted to show you also what I did the other day, I just pulled out of the freezer. I had a long, nice long pork loin, you know, and I just went in the other day and cut about one inch loin pieces out of it. And really all I want to do with these things, I want to salt these. And um, I'm going to, um, in fact, I'm going to pull this glove off because I am going to salt here. Just lightly salt them like this. We'll let them rest like this while I'm doing the uh, mushrooms. In my flour, I also put in there salt and pepper. So you'll get, they'll get salted pretty nicely. But we'll just let those sit like that for a little bit. I have two thirds cup of chicken stock, a half a cup of white wine, I have my flour that I'm going to bread, lightly bread these things in with salt and pepper already mixed in. I've got my mushrooms. 
And what I have also here, a combination of three different uh, cheeses that we're going to incorporate in this meal. I've got some provolone that I had in the fridge. I cut that up. I've got quite a bit of mozzarella. I even put on top of this and sort of mixed it around here, Pecorino uh, Romano cheese. And so you want three or four cheeses. It's just a really cheesy, nice, earthy dish. You're gonna love this. The only other thing that I'm gonna get to, and I forgot to grab it, was from my garden. I wanna get some fresh parsley. My oil is heating up. I'm just gonna put these in, and I wanna sort of move those around a little bit and get those um, uh, just incorporated in that oil that beautiful garlic i love garlic and of course if you're cooking italian you want that and then what i am going to do is i have that done here i'm going to dump in my mushrooms and i'm going to saute those now i'm not going to get those really uh translucent or anything like that i'm not going for any caramelization or anything in fact i'm not even going to salt these at all uh, then we'll get that later because I don't want them to sweat. I just want them to get uh, a little sauteed here in that beautiful oil. And while that's going, and I'll stir that every once in a while, I want to take my pork loins and I just want to get them lightly floured here. This meal will go extremely fast. Good, and I'm hungry. And I'm hungry too, yeah. <laughs> and so I know you're getting ready to go out of town. Yeah, I wonder where I'm going. Yeah, well like normal back up to see when I go alone. mother and grandkids and yeah, everything else you got going on one up there grand, one kid or the other i know it. i don't know what i'd do if i had four. Oh, my four children you yeah. mean oh i know it I, oh goodness sake. i know it look at that that's just beautiful it smells so good i'm getting flour all over my induction plate there so let's do that look now you're not going to eat those garlic I will end up looking for them or whatever and pulling them out. But boy, they're making that thing get flavorful in there. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put them back in my bowl here. And then I'm going to put these on the side. And then I'm going to deal with my meat. So my oven's yelling at me that it got to 400. So that's good. Everything's moving along as it should. And these are just now starting to get a little tender. And that's what you want. And, oh, this smells delicious. Yeah, I love mushrooms. I do too. I know there's a lot of people, and by the way, that reminds me when we did spaghetti yeah. um, every did, Wednesday. Did you do mushrooms? My dad liked mushrooms, and so my mother, you know, you didn't do, I don't remember her ever doing fresh mushrooms, but she would open up one of those cans of yeah. mushroom, you know, that are yeah. already cut in little water or whatever and throw them into the marinara sauce that she was doing or cooking that night. She just used usually a, a, a mix or something uh, with ground beef. We kids did not like mushrooms, but my father overruled us, and so you always had to try something at least once, and that was the rule in the house. And so we would have to try it, and most of us didn't like it, but what we would do is just take them and pick them out of our spaghetti and put them to the side and then my dad would come along and eat them himself. But now that I'm older, now that my taste buds have matured, I have to admit I do like mushrooms. I wonder why we didn't use fresh a lot. You know what, I don't know and I'm, I'm starting to wonder did they actually even have fresh mushrooms back? I, they had yeah. to, they had to. I just don't, I don't know why she didn't. Now look at, I'm gonna put some more oil into this pan and we're gonna let that heat up and then we're going to get our loins here and we're gonna do those about two three minutes per side we just want them good and crispy because we are going to put this thing into the oven and uh, everything is going to get finished there and these are gonna cook and by the way pork cooks pretty quickly anyhow and Especially honestly pork loin. yeah pork loin does Chops. oh and listen here's what I meant to do and show you I take those, I did a few of them and I meant to do the rest, but take and put a slit or two right there in that fat, then they won't curl up on you when they're cooking. I forgot oh. to do that and I'm going to do it now, it won't hurt to do it now. I, if you just slit them like that, I probably didn't see, but yes, absolutely. And that does that, oh boy, that's going to be good, there we go, right there, see that fat, that likes to curl up on you. 
and this will keep that from happening just like that Ooh, beautiful 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 oh, i got two more here sue i don't know here's yeah, one of those you'll that be I able to come. shove them in you think so yep okay i think yeah there's one let me see if i can get the other in yeah, i can get right it yeah right there and we'll let's cut this and this is just going to be good i thought about having somebody over but and enjoying this meal with us but it's your last night i thought ah just for a night yeah this way you'll have some leftovers well and you you won't be here for mother's day and i won't actually either so here i can yeah. have cooked for you for mother's day ahead of time makes any kind of sense so i'm going to let those cook for a few moments now here's the other thing that i'm going to do with this dinner i am going to make some casio de pepe which is just a very very simple pasta dish that has some cheese on it and just cooked very very easily and it has also a very nice finishing touch where you use pepper and what I've done here, I ground out about 30, 35 grounds of coarse pepper. And I'm going to toast it for about two or three minutes. I don't want it to burn, yeah. but I want the oil in that pepper to be released a little bit. And then we will pour this on the spaghetti, on the pasta. Now, the other thing is I've got my big one out here. And I want to put in here about an inch of water. I want to bring that water up to a boil. And then I'm going to lay my pasta right in there and let it cook just flat like. And I keep stirring it every once in a while to make sure that it doesn't stick or anything like that. So what I want to do is, uh, oh yeah, it still has a minute or two to go. Just been a minute or so. Let that keep going. So I put in an inch of water into this pan on the stove and I'm going to bring it up to a boil. I'm not even putting any salt in because I'm going to use some Pecorino Romano that I bought it and it's already shredded up and this will be the finishing and this has a saltiness to it so I can always add salt later but I'm not going to cook with it and by the way if you put salt in now while you're waiting for that water it takes time then for that water to come up to a, a boil. Now my store didn't have with any brand, any Bucatini. Bucatina. Bucatina. I don't know. I have to look. But anyhow, I got some square spaghetti because you want a dry, but you also want something a little firmer, a little bit larger than a spaghetti. Well, explain what the other is. The other, Bucatini. Stop right there. Let me go look it up. <laughs> And these are looking really, really good. Take a look at these too. See, you want a nice little crust on them, so you turn them and let them go on the other side now for about two or three minutes. And they're gonna just cook up real nice. That handle doesn't get real hot with that um, induction. Doesn't no, it? I love this induction. I'll tell you what, next stove is gonna be all induction for me, but I know some would argue against it, but I like it. It can't have gas. No, we can't hear. No, then that's the next this step. This is the next step then. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, these are looking great. Mm. We'll let those go for a few minutes, then we're going to add what we need to. In the meantime, I'm going to take, this is a box of about, well, 16 ounces, pound of it. I'm going to take 12 ounces of it, and I'm going to pull it, three quarters of it, and I'm going to pull it out of here, and we're going to put it in there, and we're going to let that thing go and do its deal over here in the, boy, that's hard to do when you're figuring all that out. What? Pulling out with three quarters of it, but that's about right, right? There. All right, now watch. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna lay this in and get it all separated. Yeah. And oh, we're gonna let that cook in that water and we're gonna allow that pasta water to even reduce some because, um, we want it to um, uh, get all nice and thick in there and we'll add thickness to it when we add the cheese in a little bit. So I'll show you that in a second. So let me finish cooking these and I'll get right back to you and show you what we add in next. Okay, I've got my parsley and I'm just gonna chop this, rough chop it real quick because um, this is from my garden. There's some more. Nope, this is gonna be plenty. Thank you, Sue. 
perfect boy beautiful there we go now what I want to do is I want to pour my white wine they're already cooked I want to pour my white wine all over and then what I actually want to do in this case I want to turn these over so that the white wine gets on both sides I'll show you what I'm talking about here there we go oh beautiful Beautiful. This is going to be so good. You haven't had pork in a while. No, I know and I'm sort of looking forward to this meal actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with that turned over now, I'm going to add back in my mushrooms that are already cooked and put those in there. Let me lower this heat just like that and get them all spread around. So does it go in the oven in that pan? Yeah, in, oh. yeah, in this pan, absolutely. And then what I'm going to do is add in the chicken stock. Now I got two-thirds of a cup, but I don't know that I'm going to need all two-thirds of a cup, but we're going to put some in here. And this thing is going to reduce so nicely when it's all said and done. Just like about like that. That's wonderful. And then I'm going to add my parsley all over. And we're going to let this cook for a little bit. And we're going to let it simmer. I it's really what I want to do for about three, four minutes, okay? Just like this. And then just before we get ready to put it into the uh, oven, I'm going to add the cheese on top. And then that's going to melt. Oh, it's going to be so good. In the meantime, if you can see over here, you can see that my pasta's cooking just wonderfully. Can't see too good. Yeah. We need two induction plates. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Get a good view of the how you tied your apron. Oh boy. Did a good job. Oh good. <laughs> All right. My pasta's finishing up. This looks very good. Now look at what I'm gonna do. I'm turning it off. It's been simmering for about three or four minutes. I'm just gonna make sure this is all wonderfully covered in that cheese. And we're gonna dump this into the oven for about three or four minutes. And this is gonna come back at us beautifully done. And oh, so good How on all those mushrooms. Oven? About three or four minutes. Don't That's take it. That long. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. Alexa set a timer for three minutes. And now my pasta's all ready. The, the uh, pasta water has reduced. And now all I'm going to do, I'm going to take this toasted pepper and I'm going to sprinkle it all over, just like that. We're going to add this in. We need about a third of a cup or so. Well, I tell you, there are a lot of easy things. To a lot do of easy pasta. ways to do pasta. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just stir this around just like this. And that is so good. And that pasta water is all nice and, and well done. You could have done it in a pot, I mean, and pulled it out yeah. and all that and keep some pasta water, but it's just sort of made it all in one shot. You can add a veggie to it. You easily could like throw some broccoli in there. I could something. put some uh, tomatoes in there, you know. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And there you have Casio e Pepe. We're going to put it in here just like this. <laughs> and guys and gals and children, whoever, it's such an easy fix. It's going to go well with my pork gonna taste delicious look at that just beautiful and we're gonna be all set and Susan's over here gagging cuz it's the <laughs> pepper it pepper <laughs> yep and it is and I'm gonna oh just finish gosh. it a little bit with a little bit of macarena here just like that look at there there's the dish right there perfect okay bringing out look at that beautifully done Ooh. oh and see, those loins are not dry or anything. They're going to be great with that, that uh, not only the cheese, of course, but those mushrooms, mushrooms in there, the wine, the chicken stock, all that's going to be great. So let me do this, Sue. Let me plate it up, okay. and I'll come back and show everybody how it all looks, okay? All right, here it is. It's my pork loin, Lombardi style. It, oh, beautiful with the mushrooms and all that and then the Casio de Pepe and she made me a beautiful yes. salad this is my meal for tonight happy Mother's Day to you all and I hope you try something similar 
and honor your mom and uh, show her how much you love her. You're going to honor cook. moms. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Mother's Day? Well, Day? I'm not. I'm with you, actually, up in Lincoln. Uh, You're so speaking. I'm speaking. To a bunch day. of moms. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we'll honor them. Yes. Well, I'm not cooking for them, though. No. <laughs> All right.